<laughs> Hello Aquarius, how you doing? I, uh, I hope you're very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a general reading for December, but you know, it is a timeless reading. So uh, whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Uh, you're very, very welcome here Aquarius. Thank you so much for uh, being here with me and taking the time to check out the reading, you know, I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully it will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And you know, if it does and you do and you feel called to, oh, hold on, put you on silent. And uh, you feel called to like and subscribe for me. I would appreciate that a lot as well. So let's see. What's going on for Aquarius? You have the Ace of Pentacles. You're looking good. Okay, there's some kind of new opportunity coming in here for you. Could be multiple things. Let's see. What else for Aquarius? You have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, good things are happening. Um, there's some kind of new opportunity coming in for you. This could be love as well. Uh, I'm going to carry on and see. But this is definitely about your finances. Like there's some, some kind of new resources are going to be available to you. It might be something where you're kind of in the spotlight or it's like a leadership type energy. Or you're like the boss or you're in charge. But it's going to make you a lot of money. Um, I think you're going to need confidence to do this, okay? So that's that's maybe what you've been kind of gearing yourself up for, is maybe why you haven't done this before. Um, so there's like new resources, like money, time, support, a change in job or promotion. So this could be like a managerial position or like some kind of promotion, or it could be a new idea that you have that you want to do, or maybe you're going to set up your own business. It could be anything, honestly. It's going to be different for different people, but Six of Pentacles as well. This is like some kind of opportunity being given to you. Again, Six of Pentacles talks about like managerial, being in charge, being the person who, yeah, like being the person in charge. It also talks about, the Six of Pentacles also talks about promotion and having more money. Um, you have the Nine of Cups here. You're about to get, something's about to shift, okay? The Nine of Cups is like, it's wish fulfillment, okay? You have, it's like something that you've been manifesting, something that you've wished for. Possibly multiple things are coming in now. Like dreams are becoming a reality. And you have the Eight of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune here. It makes me think there's some kind of communication um, that you're going to get. Now that could be about your job. It could be um, a communication from spirit as well. Like maybe an idea for like a new business or a new job that you want to do or something. It could also be communication from a new love coming in. But I'm going to get back to that. This is definitely something about your career first. Okay. You know, it's almost like, uh, I'm going to have to take my jumper off. I always get, I'm always like freezing. And then when I start doing the readings, I get warm. It's like one of the reasons that I love doing, <laughs> I love working with spirit so much because I actually get warm for a change. Um, it, it's like whatever, yeah. You have the hangman in reverse. Okay. Whatever this new job is you're about to do, it's like you get almost instant results. Like it happens really, really fast. You know, like if you set up a new business, it's like you get clients like almost immediately. And you have the hanged man in reverse, which is like the, hand man, the hanged man is a delay until such a time as spirit has managed to get you to see a new perspective. And I feel like it's about confidence in yourself and possibly something to do with a block in money, but definitely about confidence. Like the time is now. 
And again, the Wheel of Fortune is like things shifting suddenly. You know, if you think of the way that a wheel turns, right? Like it, it moves quite fast, you know? Yeah, a change in direction that offers happiness. Okay. It could actually be something to do with communication that you that you end up doing. Uh, hold on a second here, right. They, they want you to know, okay, it's some kind of leadership position for sure. Because you have like the three of wands here with take the lead. And you see how she's also, you know, just for a second, it looked to me like she was grabbing something. So this opportunity has kind of been floating around. I feel like Spirit may have pitched it to you a while ago, like maybe they gave it to you in a dream or something and it's just, or maybe you tried it before. I feel like it's been around, this idea. Mm -hmm. But basically it was kind of up to you to sort of take the lead and go for this, like to grab it and be like, excuse me Aquarius, and be like, that's the thing that I want to go for and I am good enough to do it. And I also, I do feel like it's some kind of leadership position. Mm -hmm. And you're ready, okay, they're saying you're ready. Maybe you weren't ready to do this before, but you are now. Okay, what else for Aquarius? Excuse me, what else for Aquarius, please? That's weird how the cards are kind of not coming here. Um, clarify this. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is maybe... Yeah. Okay, I feel like this is something with regards to your career. Um, it's like an opportunity, it's either you don't see this coming or it's like you kind of didn't really want to do it. <laughs> Maybe for some of you because you're like, oh, I know I should be doing something more. Like I know I should be in some kind of leadership position or I know I should like get out of this job that I'm in because there's nowhere for me to go here or like I'm not making enough money or something but you were I feel like until this point you were just kind of like oh, I don't want to I no <laughs> I don't want to do this I don't want to do that but listen you have the tower and you have the nine of pentacles you are gonna literally it's not it's like overnight wealth or overnight success with this job It's like whenever, you're, you're really good at this. Whatever this is, you're really good at this and it's gonna be really successful really quite, like really fast. I started saying quickly and fast at the same time and came out with quest. Um, yeah. You, you're gonna do really well at this very quickly. I do feel like for some of you, it's I, it's something where you're kind of in the public eye or like, you know, people look up to you or something like that. And I also feel like it's working with people. You have the three of cups here. So it could be work. It's, it's like, um, it's like you have to work with people. And I know everybody works with people, but I'm saying like, it's like you're sharing what you have with them. Also, that to me looks like a broken heart, right? And it's kind of like, you, you, it, it could be like a counsellor or giving advice or um, it's like sharing your, it's definitely sharing your knowledge and like sharing of yourself with people. I feel like maybe Leo or Gemini had a similar reading about money. Because I feel like for some of you anyway, it's like you've had your heart broken a lot of times in the past or like a lot of things have gone wrong. 
And now it's almost like you're sharing your wisdom with people about how to get past that or how to deal with it. I don't want to put that there. I want to, these, these want to go over here, but there's some kind of, yeah. I, I feel like this is something that's been scratching away at the back of your mind for a long time and you've just been like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to work with people. I don't want to share myself with people or like, I don't want the responsibility, but you're having clarity now. You're like, yeah, okay, I want to do that. Because you've actually recently been through some kind of transformation. Or spirit's just sort of done something to you and you're actually okay with it now because I feel like there's an issue here with you because this the sun shine um, and the moon card here have come out together and I feel like there may have been an issue with you in the past where you, you don't want to be in the spotlight okay <clears throat> like it's it's your time to shine you know it's kind of Leo energy it's like your time to be in the spotlight it's your time to like share with other people share yourself with other people because it could be one-on-one -on -one, like working with people one-on-one -on -one, or it's um you're not going to be working alone I'll put it that way okay it's it's something where you have to like 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 I said like share yourself with people like even if you're a manager like it would be like team building exercises and stuff like that so maybe you're a bit like oh I don't want to be in the spotlight I just kind of want it to be in the background like Henry Kissinger kind of thing but you're having to confront these like issues like okay so why why don't you want to be in the spotlight because honestly it's almost like instant money like it like a lot of money with the nine of pentacles I mean it's not the ten but it's it's more like you there's something here about this allowing you to be financially independent so you may work for yourself is the thing with the nine of pentacles that often talks about someone who has their own business or who is able to set their own hours or something the camera just went to 12 12 i don't know what that means in terms of career but you might want to look that up i also yeah i feel like there's been something here with you about like you didn't really want to be seen for some reason or you didn't feel worthy of being seen or the attention or the money or something it seems to be more about being seen with you with something that you had to work with because i feel like with the five of wands you've got your little shield up i think you've kind of been fighting it but you're just giving up now i think you're just like okay fine like let's do this because there may be something like they've kind of pushed you into it you know what i mean and you have the eight of pentacles in reverse Basically, you're going to have to work, uh, you're not going to have to work as hard, like, to see um, more money, to see more results here. Also, there's something here, and this has been coming up, I think it came up for Gemini and Capricorn, so maybe you got those in your chart too. I feel like it came up for Sagittarius. There's, like, a little bit of a block around... For one thing, you might wonder if you're good enough at this particular thing to do it because it might be like a new skill. I feel like it's something you're innately good at because you seem to have the experience to do it. But you might wonder if... Because you don't have a lot of practice at it, maybe. You're wondering if you're going to be okay at it. Like, yeah, you will. It's like a natural thing. You're, you're naturally good at this, whatever it is. That's why they're trying to get you to do it. Um, but also I wonder if there's a little bit of a block here around like your moon side is kind of going oh but like that's wrong to have to work less hours for more money you know or that's um that's lazy or something it's not that's just what we've been conditioned to believe right look at that you have the nine of cups clarified by the nine of cups you have wish fulfillment coming in here dreams coming true Five of uh, Pentacles coming in out of the cold. And also in terms of money, there seems to be a lot in your reading about money. Um, like with the Five of Pentacles, there may have been a lot of worrying about money. And I also, again, always with the Five of Pentacles in a money reading, it talks to me about like a, a lack mindset. 
like a poverty mindset which you may have inherited from your parents or your caregivers you know that kind of like oh there's never enough or like um yeah that's that's something that you're leaving behind you know or it's like well that's a pie in the sky idea you know or like what is that that's not a real job like what are you doing you need to go work in a factory or something not that there's anything wrong with working in a factory i have worked in factories it's good money and i really i actually really enjoyed it but um yeah maybe this is something kind of surreal or a little ephemeral or something you know if you pitched it to working class parents they'd be like well that's not a real job you know how are you going to make a go of that or something right but i feel like there's just generally there's like a, a block about money that's being removed uh, what else for Aquarius? I think you're about to get communication from an, uh, an emperor as well, or you know, an empress if that makes you happier <laughs> for the boys that are listening. Or um, yeah, you, there could be an Aries as well. You have the Eight of Wands and the Emperor lead card. But again, before we get into love, this is like it's some kind of communication. Or because again, that could be someone offering you a job, or it could be an idea from spirit. But it's something to do with you being a leader. To do this, whatever this is, you're gonna have to be very organized, very structured, very disciplined. Which again is another reason you may have sh shot shied. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what is that? What's the past version of that word? Shied away from it before because you were like, oh, it seems like a lot of work. I don't know. But I also feel like a lot of you, um, yeah, this came up in Capricorn's reading as well, the Seven of Cups. Like you may have had different options and you weren't sure which way to go. So you kind of finally made a decision here. Um, but I feel like you may have communication coming in from someone who's an emperor. We're going to come back to him, okay? Uh, okay, this job is something to do with communication. Okay, it's something to do, who did that come out for? Sagittarius, I think. Um, okay, I see a couple of things here. This new job or career path or whatever. Basically, you're going to find yourself in um, a leadership position overnight kind of thing. Or like very, very soon after you started it. You're going to be like, damn, I'm really fucking good at this. And you're, I think you're actually really going to surprise yourself. You're going to be like, damn. Yeah, I like this and I'm good at it and it's making me a buttload of money. Okay, Spirit, okay, cool, you can sit with me, this is fine. Because you know when they're pushing you into it, you're like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I just want to stay here in my little bubble. Why can't you people ever leave me alone? But then once they've pushed you into the place, you're like, oh yeah, no, this is better. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, whatever, just shut up. Um, but it's something to do with communication and I think some of you may have had an issue with like being heard or being seen or speaking up for yourself in the past. Um, but definitely it's some kind of leadership position involving communication, alright? That could be anything as well, that could be writing, blogging. Um, but this new person coming in and I feel that, I feel they are new. They're showing up, they're very impressive, they're showing up as an emperor, which they could have a little Aries in their chart, but they're very stable, very methodical, very organized. Um, this is someone who's going to be very faithful, very loyal, they're very wise, they're usually ve very well respected and successful in their own right. They could be a Scorpio, because I know this came up in Scorpio, I was reading the other day, um, or they could have a little Scorpio in their chart somewhere. I think this person has a little bit of a blocked throat chakra which has stopped them coming in before and actually didn't that show up in your last reading? The person was shy, right? I feel like it's, it's the same person. They might be kind of big. I don't know, I'm just saying like if this person's a guy that's headed your way, um, they might be like dark, like dark hair and like physically kind of big but really really nice, really sweet. Uh, what else for Aquarius? Clarify the wheel. I know something flipped over. What was that? Oh yeah, you're moving away from something. 
New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness, and it's clarified by the Eight of Cups. So you're moving on from something. I think you're moving on from multiple things. Um, you're moving on from like an old career path, and you're moving on uh, possibly from an old love. Okay, so you're kind of also getting out of your own way here because you have the Nine of Swords is what you're moving away from. So the Nine of Swords is like, you know, overthinking, like, oh, can I do this? Is this the right thing? Like, almost kind of um, like a prophet of doom. <laughs> you know, like, you know, it, it's kind of almost predicting the worst sort of thing. You know, I think you're just moving on from that. You have, like, there's a celebration coming in really f quickly. Like, you're going to find yourself very, very happy very, very soon. I want to see who this um, emperor is. Definitely a new beginning. You have so much wish fulfillment coming in for you. And it's that old adage, right? Is that the right word? Like, everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Who is this emperor? <clears throat> Excuse me, tell me about this emperor. Oh, yep, yeah, see? You have the Ace of Pentacles. Ow. And the Ace of Pentacles here. So if you're not looking for love, you can probably just skip over this bit of the reading, right? But, um... You know, this could be referring to your job. Just if that's all you're interested in, there's like a new position, a new idea, a new opportunity coming in that's like a leadership position that's it's definitely to do with communication, for like 100%, 100%. Um, but, you know, if you are looking for love, look at that. This emperor, so you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So that's that's the person coming in. So they could have Aries, Virgo, Capricorn in their charts. You've waited for this person for a long time. The wait is now over, okay? Um, you're about to like get communication from this person that's gonna lead to a new beginning. They, I think there's some kind of, yeah, you've been in separation with this person. They are some kind of leader uh, very impressive within themselves. They've accomplished a lot. Very well respected. Very wise. They're they're holding a document, which I wanna. That's the offer they're coming in to make you. I also feel like they have a lot of knowledge. They're very wise, very intelligent person. However, and also you know, if it's a guy, they might be physically very big. Um, I feel like this person may be darker, like dark hair, male or female. <clears throat> um, yeah, but like they, you know, if it's a guy, they may even be kind of physically imposing, but they're really, they're actually very shy. Yeah, especially coming out with this throat chakra card, they're actually very shy. They might be younger than you. It's, it's, it can be either or, because the Emperor can often represent someone older or more mature, but you also have the Page of Pentacles, so they could be younger. So it could be a young person who's mature, or it could be like a very mature, older energy who's also kind of youthful. But whatever their age, they're very shy. And it's taken them a long time to kind of find the courage to come forward with this offer. Um... And to even talk to you, I think. Oh, they really also, like, the way that he's looking in that card, they're kind of pie-eyed. <laughs> like, is that the right word? Like, they're very innocent and sweet. And, uh, oh, Aquarius, they just think the world of you. Hello, Aquarius. Uh, my camera cut out, so I just took the opportunity to go and get some cards. Uh, I'm going to pull a couple of characteristics cards for this new person coming in. But yeah, they are um, they are so focused on you. Like they are 100% sure <laughs> that you are their person and they're like very, very excited about having you in their life. Like they're really nervous. Um, when this person comes in, 
I, I do th they could be a Sagittarius, okay? When this person comes in, be <laughs> gentle with them, okay? Like if they're tripping over their words or whatever, like don't don't call attention to it. Like don't just you know don't make fun of them or anything. Like even in a jokey way, okay? Because I think you make them really nervous and it's taken taking them a long time. Because I'm even I'm stuttering now. It's taken them a long time to build up the courage to come and talk to you, okay? But they could have Sagittarius in their chart somewhere. Uh, tell me about this person coming towards Aquarius, this new person. Tell me about this new person coming towards Aquarius. Um, you have air sign and you have Scorpio. So the air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they could have a little Scorpio in their chart somewhere. You know, that's interesting because Scorpio had a reading uh, recently where the throat chakra came out and they were like learning to stand up for themselves. And I want to say Libra had that too. So they could be a Libra. And actually I meant to say that when I pulled these cards out of the deck, Libra was on the split. So they could definitely be a Libra. Uh, so you might want to check out those other, you might want to check out those signs, not that I'm pimping the channel, but it might give you some background on them. Because interestingly, I think Scorpio, Sag and Libra are all leaving shitty relationships behind. This person is very family oriented, okay? They're really going to want to start a family with you for those of you that that applies to. Um, tell me about this person coming towards Aquarius, you have honest. They're going to be very, they're very, they're lovely. They're really honest. What else about this person? To the point, okay. Uh, what else about this person coming towards Aquarius? You guys compliment each other. So you might be kind of different, okay? Like, you know, the... I was gonna say the odd couple kind of thing, you know, like one of you's messy, one of you's neat, the other one's a night owl, one of them's a day person. Maybe they're kind of more shy and you're more extroverted, okay, but it works. It's like the yin yang kind of thing. Um, that's a lot of cards. I think it's this one. They're very authentic. And I don't know if that's like a something very important for you. Like you've maybe dealt with someone in the past who uh, was was not authentic, like they may have lied to you or something like that. This new person is not going to do that. Tell me about this person coming towards Aquarius, long-term planner. So I feel like this person really likes to have a plan, like they like to have their ducks in a row. And I think part of that, you may even find <laughs> like this person has notes for the conversation that they're going to have with you. Okay, I think it's because they're a little shy. Um, what else about this person coming towards Aquarius? Water sign, which would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else, please? Uh, humble, very humble. I think maybe a little to a fault. Okay, you have Pisces here, so they could definitely have Scorpio, Pisces in their chart. Sagittarius, Libra. Um, what else about this person coming towards Aquarius? I'm gonna get three more brown eyes. Kindred soul. This is like a soulmate. This is someone that you are really, really gonna get along with because, yeah, they're they're hot. This person's really hot. Like they're they're a total babe. You are you guys are gonna have a really passionate connection. Okay. Um, because I'm kind of already, I know what you're thinking, you know, with this kindred soul, like two of cups and you're kind of like, oh, like they're really honest and stuff, but, oh, is this going to be really boring? No, <laughs> it's not. It's going to feel like your best friend, but also you're going to fancy the pants off this person. Like the sex is going to be amazing. The pa there's going to be so, yeah, look, there's passion again. There's going to be so much passion here between the both of you. However, it's also going to feel like a best friend because you guys, you're the same. 
You're actually very different, but at your core, you're the same. You know? Okay, what else, please? Let's get one more. Right, this person that comes towards Aquarius. Yeah, you have large and in charge. So I feel like they're quite big. However, I do not feel that they are extroverts. I think it's, it's like a gentle giant kind of vibe for those of you that are maybe dealing with a dude. Um, like they might be physically very big and they might be some kind of leader as well. Like they have kind of like some kind of boss job or like they own their own company or something. You know, if you're dealing with a woman though, she might be very small or like, you know, doesn't really matter about her height, but she has like a big personality. Yeah. Like she gets noticed very easily, I think, even without trying, you know? Um, also, if you're dealing with a woman, she might have very big eyes, okay? Okay, so I'm going to leave that there, Aquarius. I hope that was a useful reading. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and don't forget as well, see these signs that have come out here? Like, you might know your person as, I don't know, say you know them as an Aries, but actually they have something, like they have water prominently in their chart that you don't know about, because unless you know their birth time, you're not going to know, right? So anyway, that was just a little side message. I hope this was useful, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it so much. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Take care.